That was really bad. And now Ti Tiffany, Tiffany, we're on TV. Oh. This is not the radio where you can set it with your <coughs> pants off. Well, that, yeah, I'm sorry. Did, did, you didn't even hear it? I heard enough of it. It was good. It, it, it was, was Bubby Presley. It was something. <laughs> Bubby Presley lives at Bubby Graceland. That was not. That was Bubby That was Presley. not Elvis's brother. Yes, it was. No way. Yeah. That was Night Shadow. No. Yes. That's you what think I it bet, was? I bet you that's what Night Shadow looks like without his mask. You know, we'll find out because on his anniversary special, he's going to take off his mask. That's right. And that's going to be on April 13th. Yeah, it'll be like the April Fool show. So not... It's also his birthday. It's also his birthday. So it's not... It's the day the Titanic <laughs> And the day... What was it? Somebody got shot. Abraham Lincoln. That, something like that. <laughs> that didn't tell you. I yeah. mean, it was like forewarning, you know? Yeah, hell is frozen over. That's yeah. what it is. But we've got a lot of really great horror trailers. Yeah, we do. You know, horror trailers are great because sometimes and most of the time, they were better than the movie. Yeah, why waste an hour and a half on a crappy movie when you could just waste two minutes on a crappy movie? <laughs> and, you know, we've got that special guest coming in that does the song from our Yeah, radio Funky show. Fresh Bob, but he's not here yet. He's still, I think he's caught in traffic in East he's LA. He's in his limo, in his Funky Fresh Bob limo. He has a limo? <laughs> it's, it's the Funky Fresh Bob limo. When did we start letting snotty people on Cult Radio a go-go? We let White Rabbit on. Not on Cult Radio a go-go. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I just didn't tell you about it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we are glad to be here. Yeah, and we are. Night Shadow Renee is going to be back. Wherever, if you guys are watching, call in. Yeah, you they guys won't. out there, call in. I want to hear from They're you. They're off doing something together. I know what's going on. You know, that's just, that's just not right. They're together. Unless somebody kidnapped They're them. They're wrestling. Maybe Butch Patrick kidnapped them. You know, it could be. Could be. Ivana and Butch. You think so? This is all big master plan. I know what's going on. <laughs> they didn't want them to make the 13-year mark next week. You know, I hear that the star of Blood Diner is going to be coming on this show. Really? Now, Carl Crew? Yeah, because Night Shadow asked me, he was like, is, is Blood Diner PD? But we're not supposed to tell Night Shadow. It's a surprise. It's a secret. He's not watching. Don't watch the... Well, I was going to say he might watch the tape, but Night Shadow never edits his show together, so we don't have yeah. to worry about that but happening But the star either. of Blood Diner, which is Carl Crew, mm -hmm. and he's supposed to be on here, we pretty much got that confirmed. Yeah. Maybe for the anniversary. Hopefully. And I hear Elvira is going to show up on the anniversary show. Really? I can guarantee it. Elvira. I can guarantee that Mistress Elvi of the Dark. Elvira now, will be here. Now wait a minute, because yeah, I you just you. told me that we had Elvis Presley's brother on and uh, Bubby Presley. That that was an atrocity. So you're not gonna bring in some like You didn't hear his greatest hit in the Bubby Ghetto? No. It you're you're not gonna there. bring on it's this is an Elvira thing. It isn't some like trick, no, right? It, you're it, not gonna bring on some like little midget dressed as El oh sorry, fidget. Dressed as Elvira or no, like... El I guarantee you, you will look at it and say, that's Elvira. Okay. But what do I get if you're wrong? This is a bet. We should make a bet. You get to be on Cult Radio Go-Go. <laughs> wow. What do I get if I'm right? What do you get if you're right? You get to kiss Night Shadow when he takes his mask off. Um, I don't think I can make this show. <laughs> I think I'm going to be back. Yeah, no, I, I just got a call. I'm going to be busy oh, that day. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. He's a good-looking man. <laughs> with or without I, the I've mask? I've seen him in the shower. 
a shower Why here. did you see him in the shower? In the shower here at the Palacious uh, Studios that we Does have. Does anybody here? else think it's weird that he's seen Night Shadow in the shower? I wasn't looking. Yes. Oh, see? please. Yes. Yeah, no, I, no, knew no, no, was, no. I knew it was going to happen. There's rumors, but they're not true. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, rumors usually are true. <laughs> well, you see, wrestlers, you want to see if it's all real. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. getting myself in way. I just need to You're shut up. Foot in mouth, yeah. I think we should go some horror trails. Okay, and maybe when we come back, Funky Fresh Bob will be ready yeah, to go. Yeah, I think so. So stick around. Let's see the best of the horror films. Little digest version. <laughs> The Thing from Another World. This is the spot where it was first seen. And these are the first people who saw the thing. How did it get here? Where did it come from? What is it? That thing's alive, sir. I saw it. I shot it. I hit it. I know it. Nothing happened. It kept coming at me, making a noise like a cat. Captain, it was awful. You could have seen those hands and those eyes. Captain, you've got to do something about it. You've got Is it human or inhuman? Earthly or unearthly? Baffling questions, astounding questions. Gentlemen, do you realize what we've found? A being from another world as different from us as one pole from the other. If we can only communicate with it. See? What happened up here? In the greenhouse, I was working, I couldn't see. Yeah. Then, then a blast of cold air and I heard Olsen scream. Come here. Get in the corner. Now hold this in front of you. Stay by the light switch. 1.9. Needles hit the top. the beginning of the end for the human race. For what men first thought were meteors or the often ridiculed flying saucers are in reality the flaming vanguard of the invasion from Mars. Looks like they're going to come out of that gully pretty soon. We'll have to rush our defenses to be ready when they do. Guy can need plenty of reinforcements. We'll come. Lieutenant! Look! They slash across country like scythes. Wiping out everything that's trying to get away from them. The nations of the world mobilize their armed might, rushing to defend the Earth against the unknown weapons of the super race from the Red Planet. Is there nothing that can stop the Martian death machines? Guns, tanks, bombs, they're like toys against them. We know now that we can't beat their machines. We've got to beat them. All over the world, human beings cower before the onslaught of these unearthly enemies, whom no one has ever seen. <coughs> Panic that sweeps around the globe as the great masses of mankind flee blindly in a headlong stampede of hysteria. 